Alright boys, now this is what I, this is what Crab Claw's been looking forward to the whole trip. See what we're doing now. This is something Crab Claw's done a few times. But he ain't real good at it, Captain Scott. He ain't real good. I mean, what we're doing here, fellas, you know, we, we, we showed y'all how to throw the cast net. Now we're fixing to show y'all how to catch bull minnows. And Captain Scott, uh, I'll tell you what, he, uh, you know, he saves a lot of money by catching his own bait. You know, he's one of the biggest charter boat caps we have, you know, at Lartee Seafood, if not on the whole northern Gulf Coast. Believe it. We got a little spot right over here. See, I, like with me, uh, he says we got a little spot over here. What I'm looking at is a whole bunch of spots. The captain says he's got him a little honey hole over here to catch these bull minnows. Right, we got a little finger goes back in right up here. I like this. We got a little finger going back up in there. Now listen, y'all, everybody's got to be shh. Not everybody gets to see this now. I'm just telling y'all. But we're over here easing up in here. I guess we got, you got some traps. We're not going to throw a cast net over here, Captain. No, no, we got some bull minnow traps. We got some bull minnow traps. Yeah. I thought we was going to throw a cast net, Captain. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Put your bait in these. You got a rope, so we ain't got a way to go get them. You put your bait in there. Put them together. That bull minnow will swim in here, but bull minnows will swim back out if you leave them in there too long. They're smart. They, they, they get smart. They get smart. <laughs> We're going to leave them in there about 20 minutes. Come back and check them. We're gonna leave, so we're going to drop a bull minnow trap. How, how many bull minnow traps do you think we're going to drop, Captain? Uh, we got five of them to drop. We're going to drop five, and Captain says what we're going to do. He said, you know, you got to be quick about it. You know, this is something you can't just throw out and think you're going to catch bull minnows all day long. That's right. Because right. they are smart, the Captain. They will they find are. their way out. And I like a little bit of tide movement. If that water's just sitting there. They, they don't do as good as if that tide's moving. Wow. So the tide needs to be moving and it'll catch you. We so got a little bit of outgoing tide right now, so we, we might ought to be able to get us a couple. That's what I'm talking about, Captain. Man, I'm really excited about this. Uh, like I said, you know, Crab Claw's done it a few times. So is Old Stone Crab, but uh, we have yet to, uh, I, I guess we don't know the honey holes yet. Them little fingers, old Captain said there's a little finger up here. But them bull minutes like that grass, don't they, Captain? They do, they do. So a little technique. Look at us. We nudging on in here, boys. There's something else we're gonna use them pogies on. Bull minnows like pogies. You hear what Captain Scott said? I was just about to ask him what kind of bait were we gonna use. And he said we're gonna use the same bait that we just caught out of them cast nets. Now look at him. He's got us all punched up in here, deep in the grass. So I guess them bull minnows, they, they, they like to live in the grass, don't they, Captain? That's right. Where we gonna throw them is that little finger right back here. Oh my gosh. You got to be looking for it to see it. Man, look at this right here. Now see, I'm, I'm thinking, this shows you the difference between somebody that knows how to catch uh, bull manas and somebody that knows how to catch a bull manna. <laughs> but Captain Scott is throwing the anchor. And Captain Scott says the bull manners are over there in that little finger hole. Now get a load of this, fellas. Now you got to be, Aren't there alligators back up in here, Captain? Yeah, you was gonna have you go first. I'll follow. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna beat the. Oh, they, they, oh, now, now I'm crab bait, huh? That's right, that's right. I go from crab claw to crab bait like in just a few minutes, man. But see, you know, man, this is man. So I'm thinking. I know there's some bullminas in here, but Captain says that we've got to go in this little bitty finger hole over here. And I'm thinking there's got to be some gators. There's got to be something out there that uh. The crab claw ain't used to. Alright, Captain Eaton was looking at his clock and he said, Alright, 20 minutes is up, so let's go see what we got. Here we go. Yeah, oh man, we got him, dude. Big old man, that's some big them. old bull manners. Go, go put them where you want, Scott. You just gonna get them out one time. But you know what, like Scott said, he said, I'll throw out three traps. He said, always one trap catches more than the other two. That looks like a, some big old bull manners there, boys. I put three yeah, pogies in my Scott was shimming on the pogies. That was a trap. Gonna do something. That, that was the one that was going to do it. Scott even said, he said, you know what, we're going to put out three. And he said, I'm going to tell you right now that one of the three is going to have more than the other. And lo and behold, uh, that's exactly, I mean, we caught a couple, two or three in the other ones. But the one stone crab just pulled in, there's some big old bull manners in there. Bull and bullmina bait's good for what kind of fish, Captain? 
Flounder. That is an old recipe that everybody on Dolphin Island, you know, even on Fort Morgan knows that, uh, you know, a mangrove snapper likes to pull them in. That's a big old bull man, Oh, yeah, nice. Look at the size of that bull man. Boy, a big old flat daddy eat that up yeah, in one, two right. swallows. They might have to chew on him twice, huh, Captain? <laughs> so now, I mean, no, so. Up. So you're gonna rebait them? You won't use the same bait? No, no, you need fresh bait. Yeah. You need fresh yes, bait? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'll dump these real quick. So Captain Mub, he, he uh, throws it in, uh, he, he looked at his clock, it was 20 minutes, and now he says that he, the same bait is not going to be as good as uh, fresh bait. So he's going to rebait them, break them in half, he likes to break them in half, and then uh, he says it's got to be fresh bait. So I guess uh, like on, on, a, on a fishing trip, you you probably like to have what, two or three dozen or? Ten. Ten oh, dozen. ten does. Captain says, I gotta have ten does because I catch lots of fish. <laughs> That's, <right. laughs> That's the kind of captain I want to go fishing with. I'm gonna tell you straight up. A lot of these captains bring a couple little old dozen bull minnows, a couple little dozen, uh, you know, live shrimp. Uh, captain Scott's got fiddler crabs, he's got pogies, he's got bull minnows. I mean, that's the kind of captain you want to go fishing with. Changes the bait out, fresh bait. Throw that one back out there, I'm gonna move this one. I'll put it down there on the end. Yeah, this man ain't got no rope. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Yeah, but it ain't got no closure. Oh, it's a hook to the rope. Right. It should be hooked to the rope. Right. There she is. There she goes. That's pretty smart right there, too. So you won't So you you gonna throw one here or you gonna let it rest? We're gonna move this one. We're gonna move this one down there to the end. And we're gonna throw one more back in? We're gonna put two here and we'll move this other one back to the end. Throw two in, move one back in the end. So you always gotta you know fishing you gotta hunt and slip and slide, you know. You will spook the fish every now and then once you get them. Yeah. But they will come back. Yeah, you give these bull minnows five, ten minutes, they'll be back. Wow. Learn how to catch bull minnows. On fishing time. That's a new one by us. Gotta have that bait. Gotta have bait. And if you want to catch fish, huh, Captain? Right. Captain Scott. I tell you what. What a pleasure. Alright, here we go back through the uh the filler crab hole. Captain Scott says he kills a lot of, what you said, with copperheads. Cotton mouth. Cotton mouth. Cotton mouth. He says you got to move in here nice and smooth. And that's why I'm walking behind him, you see. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm more protected behind here than I am up ahead. Right. Here we go. Back over here. Oh, we got another bull minnow trap over here. Well, look at them scat. Well, they, they scat. Well, that's a herd of crabs, right? Oh, here comes Scott. They gotta go. Oh, yeah. Here comes Captain Scott. <laughs> look, at the mullet, look at the mullet leaving out of here. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, them things there, I'm all... Didn't I see filler crabs on Jaws eating folks and stuff? <laughs> Y'all remember that? I mean, He's eating that whale. <laughs> that whale that washed up on shore was eating him. Well, now they're coming back on in here. Check this out. Kind of spooked him a little bit, but here comes that whole herd of them, man. It's a whole herd of them. Yeah, but I guarantee when we... <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'll get. I'm guaranteeing when we step. So there, there's filler crabs all up in here, ain't it, boys? That's probably a good sign for a good fishing season. Come sheephead season, huh, Captain? We're gonna have some bait anyway. <laughs> that gun bullman is so thick over here. Captain said, "You know what? I know we got a few traps out, but I'm gonna throw a cast net and see what happens then, because he can see them over here. Captain can see them." They 
will spook that one if they cap I better back off. I'll back off. I think I was getting a little too close. Watch your captain sneak up on them. You know, if you just jump on top of them, they ain't just going to sit there waiting on you to catch them while they cap them. They do have a set of eyes. So he's making sure he's got his net ready right now because he knows he's probably got one good cast. It ain't like he's going to be able to just sit there and throw on top of him. Him. Them chokers will spook though, won't they? Right over that trap. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I, I think that's what Captain's doing. I think he's over there rounding them up on the other side. I, I know what he's doing now. I'm picking it up, Captain. <laughs> well, why? That sounds like something big. Uh oh. See some color. Oh, I see some good color. <laughs> Captain says, where would you say 20 minutes right there, boys? <laughs> Got a nice mullet. That's all mullet, I think. Yeah. Or oh, not all, but. A lot of them. You like to fish with mullet too, don't you, I Captain? Love I yeah, love mullet too. Oh, something's cutting up. See, he done spooked him right there. Oh, man. I think they said, man, Fred and Susie and, 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 and Lou's gone, man. I, where'd they go? Catching a few. That's, uh, that's what you get when you own fishing time. This serious boys over here now. I ain't playing with you now. I'm just thankful I can hang out with them for a little while, you know. <laughs> then they say, all right, Crab Claws, time for you to go to house. And I was like, all right, time for me to go to house. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, that's probably a good tip money too, ain't it, Captain? You know, I still tell them, you know, I, you know if you want to have a boat note of $500 a month, why not take a charter trip? It will cost you a lot less by the time you fill your boat up with gas, by the time you go through all this to get bait and tackle. Hey, why not come uh, call Lartique Seafood and say, listen, I want to go fishing with Captain Scott, man. Right. We'll hook you up, too. And we will hook you up. And you can tell that, you know, this is a first-class operation. This ain't no Mickey Mouse operation, you know. This is the real deal. You know, when you're catching live bait and you're putting all the effort that Captain Scott and Captain Larry, you know, puts into, you know, to... Uh, the Team Lartique's fishing charters, you know, Captain Scott and Captain Larry, you know, they're the heads up on the fishing charters of Lartique. So, you know what? I mean, if you want to catch fish and you want to see somebody work to catch bait, you know you're going to catch fish. It helps. It helps. Sure it does, Captain. Good bait. Up your chance. I know we still appreciate it, man. I know I got the camera going on. I should be getting a bucket of... Nah, we're good. With, uh, it's just uh, it's a big time pleasure to be working with you and and have you uh, working with Laura Teagues and uh, man, I tell you, and, and I really appreciate, uh, you know, showing us how to, you know, catch these bull minnows, man. I mean. That ain't no problem, I appreciate y'all. I can catch a bull minnow. Uh, I said eight bull minnows. <laughs> but as far as catching a bunch of bull minnows, you know. We like a bunch of bull minnows. We like a bunch of bull minnows. More bull minnows, more bait, more fish. Look at this right here. That's some, that's some beef daddies right there, ain't it? That's some good ones. A couple of them there take drag. <laughs> ah, that's what I was thinking, man. Look at that right there. That's what it takes. A little bit of extra effort to catch them trophy fish. And you know, at Team Lartique, we catch trophy fish. You never know what you're gonna catch. No, you don't. Even Captain Scott don't even know. He's like, man, I don't even know what we're gonna catch. <laughs> well, I know we caught yesterday. We're gonna try to catch again today, but wow.
What a pleasure.